If you want to know some of the benefits of fasting, why I think it may become necessary for all of us to start fasting and see my experience doing my very first three day water fast, keep watching. Hey lovelies, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, my name is Janelle and this is Love Janelle. All right, so this video is separated into two parts. Originally, it was just going to be a vlog of me showing my water fast, but because I didn't really explain much while I was doing the fast, I decided to just do this little intro to give a little more information now first off there are several different ways you can fast there's intermittent fasting where you'll have windows of when you can eat versus when you cannot so i've done that for a while where i will eat between the hours of 12 pm to 6 pm and anything outside of that window i don't eat anything i'm able to drink water but nothing else there are people who intermittent fast for shorter eating windows and longer times sometimes they'll eat every other day there is herbal fasting where people do that a lot of the time for healing that's usually an extended period of time some people do it for a few weeks and sometimes even months there's dry fasting where you won't eat or drink anything at all for an entire 24 hour period they say that has the same benefits of what i ended up doing which was a three-day water fast consuming no food and only drinking drinking water for the a period of time I did the three day there are people that do five days and sometimes 12 there are people who do juice fasts their list goes on and on I do suggest though if anyone does decide they want to fast especially if you're taking medications or diabetic please consult with your physician before going forward just check with a medical professional. There are so many benefits to fasting that I can't list them all. I will tell you the reasons I decided to fast. First, I just wanna say it was supposed to be a three day fast, 72 hours exactly. I had to go on the road a little later on, so I ended up doing 69 hours because I didn't wanna break my fast while out and about. I wanted to do it properly in the house. So I did do three days. I didn't do the exact 72 like I initially planned, but when I try this again, I will definitely do the whole 72 hours and plan that a little bit. For my reasons for fasting, for one of the first reasons I decided to fast was for the healing benefits. You're not constantly eating and your body doesn't have to take all of its energy to digest your food. It can divert its attention onto other parts of your body. Fasting does help speed up the elimination process so you can get rid of toxins out of your body. Fasting will help to rejuvenate our organs including our skin which causes us to have a more youthful glow. Personally started fasting because I was feeling very lethargic. I got tired very easily. I was suffering from dizzy spells. I had allergies that I previously never had. Up until last year, I've never had allergies. The allergies have gotten so bad that I had fluid backed up in my ear and I've developed tinnitus from it. I'm actually still working on getting rid of the tinnitus. So the fasting didn't eradicate the ringing in my ear, but neither did a procedure I recently took, well, at least a month or two ago to get rid of it. So I'm still working on that, but it did help with other things like the dizziness, the mental cloudiness, the irritability, and the bloating that I was suffering from. Spiritual level, it helps to heighten your sensitivity. If you are any of the voyants, if you know much about your psychic abilities, I do hear a lot of things around me that lots of people don't hear. So during this fasting, I did hear quite a lot. I was woken up quite a lot. You'll see in this video that I was a little confused by that and I completely forgot that this has happened to me in the past where I've done similar fast. It wasn't as, I guess to me this is extreme, so it wasn't as extreme as this three day water fast, but I have done like a five day juice fast before and I was able to hear a lot more than usual. Fasting doesn't only help to cleanse your body, but it helps to cleanse your soul. Some of us tend to eat some processed or food that's just not very good for us and it does tend to weigh us down physically and emotionally, spiritually. So getting rid of those things and being able to not eat for a while help reset your body. On a spiritual level, I took the time to just spend time with myself. I ended up um, doing a lot of shadow work. So I did interact with my inner child, try and work out a lot of the things that are blocking me in life and just spent time to work on those. Fasting just overall lifts your vibration. Another reason I decided to try this three-day water fast is just to see if I could. 
it was to help develop discipline having issues with my intermittent fasting i was kind of cheating a little with that i wanted to give myself a new challenge something i haven't done before and to lots of people not eating for three days may not be a big deal to them but i wanted to see if that's something i could do especially because my eating habits because we've been in the house a while i ended up just being bored and grazing all day just eating things not because i'm hungry but just because i was bored so i wanted to cut that habit and do a reset okay so the final reason i did decide to do this three-day water fast is for practice so practice for what you may think let me tell you so this is the part where i was saying that all of us should probably start practicing with fasting there are lots of reasons like i mentioned before but this reason it may be a matter of survival depending on what media you consume whether it's social media or on the television i personally do not watch the news but i'll see clips and stuff like that on things that i follow we are at a point where food can become a lot more scarce than what it is if you're living in a first world country you may feel like as if things like this won't get to you but if you're paying attention to what's going on around the world we do have billionaires buying up farmland we have them buying farmers out of their land and we have entities paying and forcing farmers to destroy all their crops we do have global warming which is having an effect there are droughts on some parts of the world while there's flooding on the other parts there's an increase on dumping oil and so we had a few ocean fires there are less truckers so there's a trucker shortage which may make transferring food increasingly more difficult and the list goes on and on food prices have already gone up and we can only expect it to go up more and more because again all of these things play a part in our food supply so shortages are coming i don't want to be a fear monger but the writings on the wall at this point one thing i find very interesting when i do follow some of these preppers is that they do stockpile a lot of food they seem tend to hoard a lot of food but one of the things i think they overlook quite a bit is their physical ability to weather the storm it is possible to stockpile rice for quite a while not all of us have the access or the ability to grow our own food so we do have to think outside the box and preparing your body to consume less, to be able to go days without eating, in a healthy way at least, may be the next course of action. Now I have been researching a lot about people who call themselves breatharians. These are people that do not eat, they may consume some fluids, but beyond that they don't eat too. Not sure how many of them are telling the truth, but I did find that when I was fasting, I didn't really need food as much. So I can see how we can go extended periods of time without eating. I can come back and speak about this a little more, but I don't want to make this video too long. So um, going forward, those are the reasons why I decided to fast. Let's get into my experience with my three day fast. This is day one around 1.30. I have been very busy this morning, so I haven't had time to even think about being hungry. I'm a little hungry now, but that's because I usually break fast around 12, 1 o'clock regularly, so it's, it's expected. Right now I decided to go for a walk, take a um, little vitamin D and just some fresh air. This evening is probably the time I'm most anxious about. Once I get through that part, I think I'll be a little, I think I'll feel a little better at that point once i can get through that and i know i will i'll check back in a little later on it's 11 p.m on day one i i'm hanging in there it's not too bad anymore the hunger feeling has gotten to a little um i don't know how to describe it it's there but it's not overwhelming it's not overpowering so my willpower is a lot stronger than i initially anticipated um i have a little fogginess um, like my head it doesn't hurt so it's not necessarily a headache but, um, it isn't really lightheadedness it's just feels a little funny I'm still feeling positive about finishing this I feel even better about finishing it now because um, today went a lot better than I thought so I'm going to journal a little um, and unwind and get to bed as far as activity today I just walked a little and I've stretched quite a bit. But anyway, one day down, two more to go. Mm -hmm. oh. 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 
Tiens-le. Mm-hmm. Don't confuse me with somebody else. Cause I've been working, I've been moving in stealth. Let me know when I needed your help. That wasn't a plan, yeah. Love yourself, love yourself, love yourself, love yourself. Love yourself, love yourself, love yourself, love yourself. Love yourself, 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 love yourself. Love is love is love, I feel the rush, it feels so good. And I know it feels like life is hard, but life is really Grand rising, so today I'm feeling much better. I don't have any more cloudy fogginess in my head. Um, I didn't sleep last night either, like I went to sleep around 4 to 5 a.m. and then I got up about 8 this morning. I tried to stay in bed a little longer and I was tossing and turning a little and then I just decided to get up. I'm really surprised by not wanting to eat anything, so I was expecting to be hungry through this whole process. Around 2 a.m. the hunger left and then since that it hasn't come back, so I just feel good i don't even feel tired i guess because my body has less to filter because i haven't eaten anything so i don't need as much sleep um so i'm perfectly fine even though my eyes still might look a little um what else right now i'm having my breakfast it's just um some warm water with a little um, pink himalayan salt in it um that's gonna keep my salt my electrolyte stuff it's just it's so I don't feel lightheaded and want to pass out it's such a little bit of salt in here it doesn't taste like warm salt water in case anyone's wondering initially I was worried that it was going to be horrible but right now um, I'm not worried at all because I don't have any cravings I'm not hungry I'm fine and I'm full of energy so I think I'm going to um, either go on a walk Maybe I'll head over to the gym and do some light cardio or something. I just feel like I need to do something right now. I did have these three days set out um, for me to not do anything because I didn't want to um, jeopardize this fuss. So uh, I don't have any set plan. I'm just going to do what I want to do today. So. We're walking, we're walking, we're walking in the neighborhood, walking and walking, walking, backwards walking, backwards walking, sideways walking. Enjoying a nice morning stroll. It's so cool and breezy. You're probably hearing the breeze. So yeah, going on a nice stroll. It is a lot more difficult for me to do simple activities, but I'm okay with it. I know I'm burning a whole lot more calories than usual i mean the ketosis state so um i just thought make me take advantage of this fast and just you know get my blood flowing and get active so i'm just taking a walk around when i go back in i'll have a nice snack of water <laughs> So it is officially day three. It's 5 a.m. in the morning. I am up at five because I can't go back to sleep. I haven't had any good sleep since I've 
been um, doing this fast, which I'm a little surprised by because a lot of accounts for the fast, lots of people experience having a great night's sleep. Um, one, obviously I got up a lot to use the bathroom because I've been drinking a lot of water, but that's not really unusual for me. And then two, once I do get um, back into bed after using the bathroom, I'm not easily falling back to sleep. And then throughout the night, I just randomly wake up, not needing to use the bathroom, just randomly waking up and just laying there. So it's, it was an uneasy night. I'm not sure what that was about, but um, that's one side effect. Well, that's one thing. And then the night before it was, I just didn't fall asleep. I will say... I am a lot more tired doing simple activities like putting my hair up or brushing my teeth or I find myself to be out of breath but that's because my body is using more energy so that was to be expected. I don't believe I was drinking enough water throughout the day because I did feel really nauseous um, as if like you know when you've worked out it was kind of like when you work out and you've gotten to that threshold of um exhaustion and then you kind of want to throw up that's the feeling in the um, in my stomach that I've been, I had felt most of yesterday I have a nagging like nauseous feeling right now but it's not overpowering I don't feel hungry at all I didn't feel hungry um yesterday until maybe mm, let's say I think it was around eight or 9 p.m. I started feeling a little hungry and then I just drank some warm water to just um, soothe my stomach a bit and I didn't really drink much of it actually I just I took a few sips and I was okay today I'm looking forward to eating again um what's it about 13 14 hours until I'm able to eat again I'm not craving anything bad or greasy or anything like that I do want some fruit though I'm really surprised as to how easy this has been for me and I don't feel like the challenges that I was expecting um they didn't come so I thought it was going to be so unbearable this whole time I'd be hungry the whole time I'm proud of myself to get this far it may be simple to some people but for me to go three days without eating anything that seemed like a huge task in itself um and i feel like if i really had to i could go five days um but i'm not going to but the biggest thing to get used to is not having anything to eat so it's not so much that you're hungry you need to eat but it's just that habit of putting something in your mouth masticating swallowing just the whole process of eating digesting food that's a bit weird I'm um, not having on a regular but I do realize I don't have to do it as often anymore I do want to have some like watermelon something fresh to eat once the fast is over so I'm not entirely sure what happened, but some of the footage was lost. I did end up breaking my fast at 69 hours with some apple slices and peanut butter. Later that day, I had that watermelon that I wanted and then um, I didn't eat anything for that day. The next day I had my first meal. If anyone was wondering about weight loss during the fast, I did lose about six pounds. It did come back within like two weeks, but I didn't do it for the weight loss because a lot of that footage has been lost and I did edit quite a bit of this out just so it wouldn't go on too long. If you have any questions or if something doesn't make sense, just ask me in the comment section. I'll be glad to clear that up. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more and until next time.